Hello, Eleanor. Grandma's got a story for you today about a very, very small critter. Do you know what that is? Oh, can you see it? Yep, it's a snail. And that snail wants to see the world. Oh my goodness, how long would it take a snail to crawl around the world? <gasps> Seeing exotic places? Wow, a very long time. This is called the snail and the whale. Oh, look at that big whale. Ha, huh, that's where the snail's sitting, on the whale. And this is by Julia Donaldson, one of our favorite authors. And Axel Scheffler is the illustrator. I'm going to see if I can get these pages to show without too bad of a glare. The Snail and the Whale by Julia Donaldson. Pictures by Axel Scheffler. This is the tale of a tiny snail and a great big gray-blue humpback whale. This is a rock as black as soot. And this is a snail with an itchy foot. The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed, she sniffed and sighed. The sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to sail, said the tiny snail. Do you see her there on the rock? Wishing that she could be on one of those ships sailing out to sea. Whoa. Oh my goodness, look how many snails there are on the rock. These are the other snails in the flock who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with the itchy foot, Be quiet. Don't wiggle. Sit still. Stay put. This is the trail of the very tiny snail. A silvery trail that looped and curled and said ride wanted around the world oh boy i wonder if anybody will see her sign her message on the rock there's a there's a seagull with a fish and another seagull they see it but what about the ship out there do you think the people on the ship see her sign Ride wanted around the world. This is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale, immensely long, who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and sooty shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale, he held it out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, come sail with me. Oh, he's offering her a ride. Nice. Ooh, where are they? Oh, oh my goodness, what's that? Oh, do you suppose they're up in Alaska with the penguins? Or down in the Antarctica. Oh, there's some snail, some some seals. This is the sea so wild and free that carried the whale and the snail and his tail to towering icebergs of far off lands. Wow, there's the snail. Now he gets to see the icebergs in far off lands. Oh, with fiery mountains and golden sands. Now look where they are. Now they're in an island paradise. Oh, there's a volcano and a monkey and a turtle. Can you still see the snail? Let's get up really close. Oh, there he is on the whale's tail. Oh, there's a fancy bird from the tropics. 
Where is he going to go next? And these are the waves that arced and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. Oh, boy, that's a big wave coming. Hold on tight, little snail. These are the caves beneath the waves where colorful fish with feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins swim past the whale and the snail on his tail. <laughs> Look at their toothy grins. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> How funny. Oh, what's that? An octopus. All kinds of things down here. Oh, that looks like a lobster. Boy, he's really getting to see a lot, isn't he? There's a starfish and a sea urchin. All kinds of things in the bottom of the ocean. Now where? This is the sky so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, and sometimes filled with a thunderstorm with zigzagging lightning and flashing and frightening the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. Wow. There he is when it's sunny, and now it's stormy, and woo, lightning. As she gazed at the sky, the sea and the land, the waves and the caves and the golden sand. She gazed and gazed, amazed by it all. And she said to the whale, I feel so small. Oh, look, there's a bear and an eagle. And where, where is she? Oh, where is she? Oh, there she is. She is small, isn't she? She just didn't feel small before, but now she does. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. And then came the day the whale lost his way. There are speedboats running a race, zigzagging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with their ear-splitting roar, making him swim too close to the shore. Oh, dear. This is the tide slipping away. Oh no, he's too far close to the shore. He can't swim when there's, when the water's gone. Oh no, and this is the whale lying beached in a bay. Quick, off the sand, back to sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land. I'm too big, said, moaned the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small. Then I've got it, she cried, and she started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. Oh dear, what can a tiny snail do to help a giant, huge, heavy whale? Where's she going? Hmm, that looks like school. This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. And this is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. And this is the board as black as soot. And this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail, a snail, the teacher turns pale. Look, said the children, it's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail saying, Save the whale. Save the whale? Do you think her message will be heard? Oh my goodness, look what's happening. These are the children running from school, fetching the firemen digging a pool. 
squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool. Oh, good. Look at that. They're spraying with the hose from the fire engine. And they're digging a deep hole so water can fill up. Look at that. People digging. Children helping. This is the tide coming into the bay. And there are villagers shouting, Hooray! As the whale and the snail travel safely away. Awesome. The snail did save the whale, didn't he? Ooh, this book is getting heavy. <laughs> Hard for Grandma to hold it, so I can see it, and so can you. Oh, that looks familiar. Look where they are. They're back at the Black Rock. Huh. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock, who said, How time's flown, and haven't you grown? Ah, the snail got bigger. And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale, of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves and of how the snail, so small and frail, with her looping, curling, silvery trail, saved the life of the humpback whale. And then the humpback whale held out his tail and on crawled snail after snail. Oh my goodness, are they all going for a ride? Oh, look, look. Look at that. Ah, <laughs> they are filling up the whale's tail. And they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the gray-blue humpback whale. And that sounds like the end. Let's see if there's anything on the next page. Oh, just some fish. And that's the end. Wow. That snail got to see the world, didn't he? <laughs> All the different places, cold and warm and wintry, blowing snow and stormy and sunny. And now his snail friends get a ride, get to have some fun. Did you enjoy that story? The snail and the whale. Cool. I like Julia Donaldson. She has some fun stories, doesn't she? I'll have to see if I can find some more. I hope you have a wonderful day. Whatever the weather is at your house, you have fun. Love you. Bye.